Do you guys remember uh, Bishop Mzilikas? Bishop Mzilikas under Alf Lukau, he was there, he was saving under Alf Lukau for a very long time. And after a while, we got to know that Bishop Mzilikas is no longer there because all of a sudden, Mzilikas was nowhere to be seen. We didn't see him anywhere. And this was after Alf had been defending him, particularly after the accusations of having a child, what not, and supposedly he was married to another wife, what not. There was a lot of stories back. We are visiting the Krombu Empire of Alf Luka. Welcome to the moment of clan. Yeah. Uh, one of you guys actually told me um Zeligazi now has a, a, his own branch, his own church. He started his own ministry. I did want to do an update episode where we showed where was he by then. And we, we did discuss uh, him working with the Department of uh, Tourism. And if you do remember that particular episode. So we, we got from that that he was a very charismatic person, a person who people kind of do pay attention so it makes sense you, when you see the church the church is huge now <laughs> so for those that were wondering you might have been there wondering whatever happened to mziligas yeah mziligas he started his own church and that church now looks like it's really big i just want you to hear from ricky the church reality check so if we human beings and uh, the soldier of the Lord are not happy with what is going on in the church of our Lord Jesus Christ today. Imagine our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord Jesus Christ wept every day for what these people have turned his church to. And he warned us in his word that the, the, the angels of darkness is going to come and deceive the people of God. He will, pre he will present himself as angel of light. And that's exactly what is happening. And the Lord Jesus said that and many will be deceived because many will follow them because they will think he's our Lord Jesus Christ. And it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart with what we are seeing in all these pastors, the major one, Afluka, um, Makadewa, Ubat Angel, Kisoya Kilome. That is the evil, the most, most, the most, most disappointing in life. I've never, never, never believed that Kisoya Kilome will fall into all these messes. He pretend for a very long time because he's been with them from the start. He's been with uh, uh, T.B. Joshua. But he pretend, he pretend, he lied to people. But you cannot deceive people forever. So now he cannot hide anymore. He has come out to the open. Then what will you do? We are with them. They are my sons and their fathers. And we are all in all these errors, all this stealing, all this lying, all the deceptions, all the destruction together. I just want to thank God for the for the life of this uh, bishop that he actually came out of all this mess and because god does not desire anybody to die and go to hell i kept saying it so that's why we are doing all this video not to criticize or to condemn anybody even all these people that are still there we are praying for them and we are believing god that one day they will see the light and they will come out that's why we are saying to you we are not criticizing anybody i just want you to hear from the from my other uh, from my colleagues that nobody is criticizing you we want you to be saved we want you to be delivered we want you to serve the real jesus and not fake jesus that all these sangomas are serving it is their background it's their foundation they are not christians so no god for yourself this man has come out my advice for this bishop do it right this time around if you are open your own church you came out from Africa, you know it's not right that's why you came out do it right don't mislead people the glorious house that you hope on don't mislead people if you come across this video please tag this man make sure you got this video do it right because if you if you guys don't know that what is 
is happening now is the fingers of God. I don't know what you will believe. God has raised the bloggers. He has raised his hands to be flogging all these pastors. They are arresting bloggers. They are, they are, they are crashing people's channels. They are taking over people's channels. They are claiming people's videos. They are doing all sorts of things. That really tells you that they don't want to change. They do not want to change. They do not want to change. They want to continue to destroy lives. That's why they are fighting this way. What they are saying, we are using the biblical um, scriptures. We are using the biblical words. We are using the scriptures to counter what they are doing. All they have to do, if they are genuine error, if they are genuine and it's not deliberate, what they have to do is to change their ways. But because they are deliberate, they are sent by Satan. That's why they are fighting us. And you are fighting the blogger, you are fighting God. Because we are God's saints to deliver his own people. The, the, the sacrifice of our Lord Jesus Christ of the cross has covered it. We know be in vain. And that's my motto. That's what I'm advocating. And that's what I'm, I'm preaching. I'm preaching the good the, 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 the gospel. See, for me, it's not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Miracles, miracles, it's from the Satan. It's not, it's not of God. All this nonsense. Fixing miracles and all that. It's, it's, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. They inherit all these powers from their foundation from their background and they are using it they are destroying people they are lying they are, you, you, you just heard it have Lukai rape a child can you can you believe that that is what their God is asking them to do Satan is giving them an assignment just to renew their powers he has them to sleep with their wives to, to sleep with their wife's sisters to, to sleep with their mother sleep with their sisters sleep with a pregnant woman all sort of things sacrifice this can sacrifice that if you know what is going on in all these pastors you will be sorry for them they they, they cannot dis deliver you they cannot even deliver themselves talk less will deliver you no god for yourself there's no god in all these churches that's why god is kicking them out one by one that's why god is crumpling their empire is god working it is the lord doing and it's marvelous in our eyes Thank Thank you very much. I came across this video. I said, let me echo it and uh, to get more people saved. Bye for now.